Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. The day that you'll be watching this is probably St. Patty's Day, right? Because we're doing the Alec Bradley Shamrock Filthy Hooligan Toro. I got this since 2020. I've been smoking one or two every so often. Now we have another one to to review. Uh, it's a, I think it's the same thing, but like. I smoke so little of these that I think it's worth it to do a double review with Smoke One if you have one, Eric. So I already tell him which one I'm gonna do. He just had to do his reviews, right? Uh, I have this box right here. As you can see, it's 2020. Um, and all I have was one more left for next year. But I just wanna show you guys this uh, box basically. Uh, it's like a crate style, not too bad. Bottom says 2020 as well. So. Might be a review next year. Who knows? Who knows? I might smoke that beforehand. So let's take a look at this uh, particular cigar closely. Obviously, Alec Bradley. They call this um, Black Market Filthy Hooligan Shimrock. Uh, the region's home for Honduras. And the rapper's Honduras, Candela. And then has this uh, undisclosed Habano Maduro and uh, Habano Seco. So it's three color, as you can see. So basically, bind and fill is undisclosed. 6 by 50 MSRP is twelve fifty. dollars uh, The Vitola is Toro. And you can see it's three color. Um, you know, the, the, the leaf itself is just kind of stacked over each other. I, it doesn't look like it's glued down, but it just looks like it's like stacked on each other. So, so that will be the cigar that we are going to smoke today. I'm trying to see if there's any other information that I didn't mention. Other than the fact that back in the day, this was a lot cheaper. So uh, I got a 2020, right? 2020, this cigar was 1050. A stick. No, Shamrock is 1250 a stick. Okay. So back in 2019, Shamrock's 1195, and before that, uh, the Filthy Hooligan Black Black Market is actually original release for like eight dollars. Yeah, they were eight dollars. So. Yeah. Yeah, it just smells leafy. Typical um, candela. For those uh, people who doesn't want to know more about the leaf and stuff like that, the color, the shade, um, go listen to our podcast. One of our episodes has something to do with the leaf shade. All right. Well, this gave me $12. We'll find out. The draw is grassy. Ooh. Leathery, grassy. A little bit sweet, I think. Kind of. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's just grassiness. Maybe some mushroom. Uh, I need to fill this again. Let's try the other one. How about this one? Almost there. Okay. Uh, 
earthiness, peanut, grassy, vanilla. Pepper, little bit of espresso. The draw is okay right now. Strength about medium. Yeah, that, that pepper also have some, it's like a cross between a, a red pepper and white pepper. That, that burn lingers. Some minor sweetness starts to work its way through. I mean, when you have three uh, wrapper, you know, you got to get various kind of flavor, regardless how small it is. So, all right. Let me smoke one third and we'll be right back. That's gonna take a little bit because Candela, you wanna smoke it slow? I'm gonna smoke it slow. Be right back. All right, let's start with the first third. Creamy, grassy, sweet, espresso. I don't know, that creamy is almost milky. It's, it's actually nice. A little bit of pepper. Uh, There's obviously earthiness that goes with the grassiness, but it's pleasant. It's good. It's enjoyable. Like, I'm just smoking it. The draw is great. Smoke output is great. Burn is okay. Sometimes it gets wonky, but it kind of corrects it over time, as you can see. But everything's good. Everything is good so far. It, it really... There is a reason why this is one of the most purchased St. Patty's Day cigar. Because I have other ones, right? I have... Uh, uh the, the the Camacho Candela. I have the wasabi. I have a few of the I believe those are Roma crabs. Um that was candela. But this one had the blend right. It tastes pretty good. I like it. So so far, the experience that I'm getting out of this. Twelve to thirteen dollars. Yeah, sure. Twelve to thirteen dollars. I'll give you twice twelve thirteen dollars. So yeah, first there, prefer performed perfectly. Smokes great. Smoke output is great. Draw is great. Then I had to pull out a freaking tree. So yeah, I will be right back with the second there. I think that's gotta perform just about the same, but we'll see. All right, we are into the second third now. Because it's a barber pole, you gotta get a lot of different kind of flavor, right? So the second third is like the golden spot for this cigar. You get the grassy note and it's really sweet of a grassy note. You get some toasted nut flavor that is also really sweet thanks to that grassy note. You get a little bit of maybe citrus fruitiness uh, from the retro hill. You get the smell of melting chocolate or hot chocolate and you get um, mm, a little bit of breadiness. It adds all adds to that body. It, it's really pungent. It's really full. Um, I wouldn't say it's like an ultra full body, but this is at least medium, medium plus body with the medium strength. It's very easy to smoke. So plenty of flavor, plenty of um, various uh, 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 level of enjoyment because you get savory you get grassy you get earthiness you get toasted nut you get breadiness you get sweetness you get vanilla you get um pepper that's the second third it's like you get everything and the combination is great so whatever they did obviously throughout the year they know the combination works all right so they know the combination work even though i'm coughing i'm still enjoying the heck out of this because it's a good cigar good cigar to be honest, right now, I'll pay $15 for this. No problem. $15. No problem. Mm, 
I think I can go higher, but $15 where I'm comfortable. So I'm going to stay at $15 right now and finish the last third, and then we will see if it goes higher or lower. But $15, if somebody say, hey, you can enjoy all that flavor within $15 package, you will do it. You will do it. Not to mention, you got to celebrate this. So you you got to have a beer or something like that with it. I think you got to enjoy it. So, yeah, let's finish last stir. We'll be right back. All right, I am down to the last little bit. Last stir, as you smoke it, flavor dies down, and which is normal, right? You're not getting that much combination overlapping each other anymore. So it's such a die down a little bit. Uh, I, it's expected, but it's not bad okay it did get a little more dull it get it get a little bit lighter there's more of a grassy note than the rest of it now uh it's not bad but it's it's like i don't have to smoke all the way down because not much left anymore right so with that being said i need to stay with i need to stay at 15. i was thinking that maybe he's like oh, approaching 16 but no 15. 15 is where I'm going to stay, but that's still a good price. Now, it is over the price that they're retailing for, but that, what I'm saying is that even if they increase the price in the next few years, it's still worth it. You only got to smoke it one or two a year for, for St. Patrick's Day, and um, you're not going to smoke that often. And one, uh, if you, especially if you don't smoke that often, every time you come back to it, it's actually got to be a pretty good cigar. Really good cigar. So I like the cigar. I recommend the cigar. The, uh, compared to the, all the other ones, which has more candela, this one is more balanced. Because all the other one with more grassy you know, it's not helping, right? The, the last third, as it dies down, you get a little bit of like, you know, almost green tea notes. Uh, but it's very light. Very, very light. So, I recommend the cigar. $15 where I'm going to get it. Um, to give it, to, to give the value as, all right? And, um... Yeah, that will be pretty much for this review. I can't say anything else about the third, uh, last third. But let's see if I can get this band off and show you guys the band. Uh, now, they do have another version where there's only two color. But I still don't think that one is as balanced as this one. So, And that one increased price by a lot over time. So I don't, I don't, think, I don't think it's worth it. But let me get this band off. If I can get it off, it's really glued down. There you go. Fit the theme, looks good. Feel free hooligan. again, that's what you get. All right, so recommend the cigar. Go get it. Smoke it every St. Patty's Day. Pair it with a beer. Pair it with a coffee. You can pair it with anything because it's got all kind of wrappers on there. So it tastes tastes pretty good. Tastes pretty good, okay? So make sure to, uh, since this is a double review, make sure to also watch the, the one from... Eric, smoke one if you have one, and um, we should release this one right on the day where uh, we go to the trip to DR. So after that, you might see some DR stuff, at least for the members uh, of the channel, you'll be able to see some DR stuff start slowly being released. So I will see you in guys, uh, guys in those uh, particular videos. So yeah, that will be it for this review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, we also have membership. If you want to join the membership, uh, make sure to keep eyes on for those DR stuff uh, and comment on those. So we, as we do it, we can kind of find out what you guys like so that we can put more of those uh, content for you guys. Okay. We also have podcasts. Make sure to listen to those. And we got swag somewhere below the video. And that will be it. I'll see you guys next one. Happy Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Why am I like starter? Happy St. Patty's Day. I'll see you guys next one. Bye guys.